Hi, this is Kobe, and welcome to this video overview on the rules and gameplay of Tournament Omaha. To many who are new to playing poker, tackling Omaha can be a little intimidating and scary. But I'm here to show you that there's absolutely nothing to be scared about. So let's get started. Omaha is a community card game. It is played with a standard 52 card playing deck. Jokers. What the what? I want to play a game. Stupid jokers. Now where's that trap door button? Now where was I? Jokers are not used and there are no wild cards. Standard hand rankings are followed. The highest hand wins the pot. A pot can also be won if it is surrendered to the remaining player or players. If there is a tie for the high hand, the high hands will both split the pot. It is ideally played with two to eight players per table. Tables are combined and balanced as players are knocked out. The game ends once there is one remaining player with all of the chips. The dealer button. Let the game begin. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is a white button that is put into rotation to show who is representing the dealer at the table. This is the last position at the table and cards are dealt starting immediately to the left of the dealer position. Forced bets. Before play begins, there are forced bets the first two players to the left of the dealer button must put on the table. First is the small blind, which is half of the amount of the big blind. Secondly is the big blind, which is the minimum bet any player at the table can bet. Now play begins. Similar to Hold'em, Omaha has four cards dealt to each player to start the game and five community cards are eventually dealt. Betting options are as follows. You may fold, call, raise, or even re-raise. From this point on, a betting round will occur before every card or group of cards is dealt, and the final betting round will take place after the last card is dealt. Let's look on as play continues. Here is an example of what a hand of Omaha looks like in real time from start to finish. First the flop is revealed followed by a betting round. Next the turn is dealt and another betting round occurs. Then finally the river card is dealt and it is followed by a final round of betting. Now it's showdown time. During the final showdown, all remaining players must make their best five card hand consisting of two cards from their hand and three cards from the community cards on the board. The key rules to remember are that a player must use at least two cards from their hand. And the other key rule to remember is that a player can only use two cards from their hand and no more. Here we have an example of a showdown between two opponents. Opponent A shows four jacks with an ace kicker. And while it may appear that opponent B wins with a straight flush, remember that only two cards from your hand can be played and that you must use at least two cards. So you can see player B only has two pair aces and jacks with a king kicker. The highest ranked hand remaining is awarded the pot. Well that's Omaha in a nutshell. Another fine variation of this game is known as Omaha High Low 8 or Better, also known as Omaha 8. Gameplay is as follows. Omaha 8 is a split pot game. Low ball rules apply for all low hands trying to qualify. Players must have a hand that is 8 high or less in order to qualify for the low. The best ranked hand wins the top end of the pot. 
If no one qualifies for the low, the best ranked hand wins the whole pot. It is possible to win both the high and the low with hands like a wheel or even a flush. Hey, there you have it. Once again, Pro Pair Poker comes to the rescue and shows you that poker is not scary at all. You just need to be taught the right way. We have so much more to teach you and would like to invite you to join us at Pro Pair Poker University for more in-depth training and world-class online poker coaching that shows you how to get in the game and stay in the game. Hope to see you there. Game over.